Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about 5 upcoming scooters from big brands which means when they hit the market they will be creating quite a ripple. At number 5 is LML companies Star. So those who are young and not an auto enthusiast might not be knowing about this company called LML. But those who were around in the 90s would be knowing about this company. It was a big company and now this company is making a comeback with its popular model called the Star but of course in a futuristic and in an electric avatar. Now it was displayed in the Auto Expo 2022 which we covered in our channel and you can go back and watch that video but this scooter looked like a maxi scooter. It had large headlamps which were auto adjusting had a flat footboard and the battery pack was located underneath the footboard you get all the more like cbs navigation connectivity etc and you can go to their website and express your interest in which case the company will keep you updated about all their happenings regarding this scooter at number four is ampere primus now ampere company has been consistently been in the top five best sellers list since the past several months they have become very strict regarding their battery safety and they've replaced most of their models better batteries into LFP chemistry and with this model called the Primus they are also upgrading the performance because they have done away with the hub motor and installed a 3 kilowatt PMSM motor which will be in the belt driven configuration. The battery pack of course an LFP will have a capacity of 3.34 kilowatt hour which will deliver a real life range of 120 kilometers in the economy mode. When the motor is pressed hard then it can generate a top speed of 77 kilometers per hour but even at around 70 kilometers per hour the company says that you should be getting a real life range of 100 kilometers. This scooter comes equipped with a 15 liters of boot space and the pricing starts from 1.1 lakh rupees ex showroom. Pre-booking is already open for more details do check out our video that we covered in in this channel regarding this model. At number 3 is the biggest company of this list which is TVS. Now TVS already launched iCube and iCube S which have established themselves as a very practical family scooter with great build quality and the engineering capabilities of TVS is all too well known plus their wide service network also helps. And with this iCube ST model they will be building on the existing models by adding a 7 inch touch screen with all the fancy features like uh, keyless entry, unlocking 32 liters of large boot space, USB charger. But the biggest upgrade will be a 4.5 kilowatt hour IP67 rated battery which will deliver a real life range of 145 kilometers. Now the motor is still a BLDC hub motor that has a nominal power of 3 kilowatt, a peak power of 4.2 kilowatt and that can generate a torque of 33 Newton meters. This motor is IP67 and will deliver a top speed of 82 kilometers per hour an acceleration of 0 to 40 kilometers in just 4.2 seconds. Now the scooter will be equipped with disc brakes only in the front. The rear will be housing a drum brake and a hub motor of course and the tires are 90 by 90 inch tubeless tires. At number 2 is the biggest electric vehicle company of India and that is Ola. Now Ola is launching S1 Air which is a more affordable version of their S1 models. These scooters will be available in 3 battery options. 2 kilowatt hour battery pack, 3 kilowatt hour and 4 kilowatt hour. Now the 2 kilowatt hour battery pack will give a range of 85 kilometers and will ask a price of 85,000. The 3 kilowatt hour battery pack will give a range of 125 kilometers and will come at 1 lakh rupees price tag. And the 4 kilowatt hour battery pack with 160 kilometers of range will have an ex showroom price of 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. Now to save cost, of course the scooter will come with hub motors that will have a capacity of 4.5 kilowatt and can deliver a top speed of 85 kilometers per hour. These scooters will still retain the large boot space that Ola scooters are known from and hopefully they will learn from the mistakes of the S1 models and build on it. For example, the front suspension of the S1 and S1 Pro model have a mono shock design which means they just have one rod towards the left and that has been a cause of concern for many customers. Customers have complained about the shock absorber not being very sturdy and there are even instances where the shock absorber has broken altogether. So that is something that Ola is doing away with with these S1 Air models. They will be equipped with dual suspension which are tried and tested. And at number one is a scooter that has the largest fan base here in India even though the scooter has not made its way into the market. This is of course the simple one that many people are even starting to forget. So here is a quick refresher for you. 0 to 40 km per hour at 2.7 seconds, 105 km per hour top speed, torque 72 Newton meters, boot space 30 liters, 90 by 90 inch, 12 inch tubeless tires and the biggest thing 4.8 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers a range of 236 kilometers and the company assures a range of 200 kilometers in real life scenario. 
all this entire package comes at a mere asking price of 1 lakh 10,000 rupees after a 60,000 rupees subsidy from the central government. Now people have already booked this scooter all the way going back to two and a half years when the scooter was first showcased and it was available for pre-order at 1,947 rupees. It is still open if you wanted to jump into the bandwagon but before you jump out of this video do let us know which scooter you are waiting for in the comment section and subscribe to this channel so we keep meeting again. Go green, go electric.